distance we've had with decorations in my bag. It's taking it slow, won't work in time. It's only so long for Christmas oh, life. It can't be a song you sing sometimes. I need you to sing it for your whole life. Let me be your family this Christmas. Let this be the season. Maybe I should have stuck it from the back. the curls on top here they are all set and now it is time to bobby pin them up just found this this is from my old theater bag and you can even see like my name that i ripped off a mic pack so i could have it on my bobby pin thing this is not sanitary tbt there's definitely blonde hairs attached to this The lady in the video made it look a lot easier. Okay, that was not efficient. Get it right, get it tight. Mm, I don't think that's giving what I wanted to give. Maybe that's what I should lean into, the cute little curls falling out look. Okay, uh-huh. I just did it right now. Thank you for calling me back. God. Oh my God. You have so much hair. <laughs> you have so much hair. I called you right before I started this braid and I was going to ask you, should I curl the rest of the bottom or straighten it? And then I was like, you didn't answer. So I had to call my mom. I said, yeah, maybe curl it. Like, but also I could just commit to the Cindy Lou bit, which like, not that I'm not trying to commit to the Cindy Lou bit because I do, but there's also part of me exploring other opportunities. And now that I'm here, I feel like I just have to. Yeah. I just clipped both sides of the hair and I'm deciding if I want to use this ribbon or this ribbon. That's huge. That might be too big. But also it just might be enough. All I can think about in this moment is, wow, you like don't have to do this. Like I genuinely, <laughs> oh, this is super cute. Not there. That is, that is, does cover a lot of the masterpiece that we've just been working so hard on. So. Okay, you guys, it is time to finally chat. I knew, I know myself. Doing activities while chatting aren't a good mix, and this was such a project. It took me, it took me about three hours to do this. Um, so I knew that if I tried to talk through it, it would have been ending up to be six hours. Take a moment, look at this. Didn't it come out so good? But as I'm looking at myself in the camera, I'm realizing that I did not listen to Ryan. You should probably take your shirt off now before you do your whole thing and then take that top off over your hair that you've just done. So let's first start off by saying, what the heck am I even doing? What am I even trying to do? This is not sponsored. This is not for my job. This is purely just because I have had so much creative juices. And as always, I start getting sad because I'm not in a musical. So I was thinking to myself, oh, you're not in a like a theater production, like even in like a little Christmas, like, creative thing. I'm not fully participating in Vlogmas this year, which is like posting every single day on YouTube. I am doing a rendition of it and posting every day on TikTok, but I was like, I want to still produce like a video and edit it and shoot it. And when you realize that you are not a part of any projects and you're like, I can't sign up or like do anything like that. So it looks like I have to create it myself. And to be honest with you, this is not something that I, I always thought this way. And so I knew I wanted to do something Christmassy, but I just didn't know what. And I was like, okay, I want to sing something. I want to do a little bit of theater. What is it that I want to do? 
And then I heard this cover by Sabrina Carpenter of The Grinch. And I, in that moment, like I was sitting at the table with my family playing Loteria and I remember hearing the song and I was like, who is this? Ryan, save that on your Spotify. I love this rendition. Oh my gosh. And ever since Thanksgiving, I've been hearing this song every single day. And I'm sorry to my boyfriend. He has been also hearing it every single day because it's such a good cover. I love this version. And I was like, how fun. I want to sing that and do a little something fun with it too, where it's like, just like a little performance of it. Um, but what was I saying? I'm looking at the DIY lash kit extension. I just got this. The cheat code is on the back of the box. It says like which number you need to use on the lash to get the look you're going. Number nine. So we go open it up. Go to lash number nine. I just had to cut because I I almost called off the entire shoot just now, so that's where we are. Um, there is glue all over my eyelid, um, but we prevailed. I'm like, what am I doing this for? Like, right, myself, me. <laughs> and I think that what makes it a little crazy. Oh my gosh, no, please stop. <gasps> What am I doing this for? What am I doing this for? I love performing. I love performing. Oh my gosh. Do you Maybe the we should cancel the shoot. Oh geez, you guys. This really... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love entertaining. I love entertaining. I hope this video comes out like how I envision it. And you know what? If it doesn't, it's fine because I honestly am having the best time. I haven't done my hair and makeup like this in so long. I'm rearranging. Don't be discouraged if you actually were thinking of trying these like DIY extension kits. I can tell the more you do it, the easier it is to apply. Because I know people that have used this and it works well for them. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 that's stinging. Oh my god, please God, let me not go blind. Lord, 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 Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Oh my gosh. Wow. I can't believe I did this. I'm honestly really impressed with myself. I have a lot of hair, so I always feel very intimidated to do my hair in big things like this, and I could not be happier. This is going to be um, interesting to get into my outfit. Let me show you what I'm thinking. I'm going to be in the kitchen cooking with this shirt that looks so much like from the Grinch movie underneath, but wait. Not only is it this, but look. This is not sponsored, but I was gifted these sweaters from Tipsy Elves. I am a huge Tipsy Elves fan. Like, if you go back to Vlogmas of last year, I got all my family matching pajamas from Tipsy Elves, and I like to shred in all their, like, really cute suit. I got these little floofers off of Amazon. It's just, like, less than 10 bucks, and they're just, like, to give a little bit more extra. Ooh! I put the shirt on and I was like, oh my god, I look like Martha May when she's in school. And they're like, last layer, here we go. Ooh. Girl Ryan, if you're watching this, you were right. But what's new? My mom and her and my boyfriend. My mom, my best friend, and my boyfriend. They're always right. Oh my gosh, I actually think I need him. Ryan, baby, can I borrow you, please? I need help. I don't want to mess up this hair and I like literally don't have a hold on this. Okay, I'm covering it. Okay. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> oh my, wait a second, I have to turn on the shirt. You have to be here for the first time I do this. Al Caniva, who I hate you! Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh yeah. Have you taken any pictures? I have, I've literally just put this on and called okay. you. No, I love it, it's so cute. Do we want these out? Let's see. No, I feel like I need the whole sweater, huh? Yeah, you look so good. Oh my god, I didn't even think about earrings. I mean, you don't need jewelry. You're doing a lot, but... <gasps> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean?
Excuse my language, but bless. Okay. Walk through rehearsal, here's how I picture it. Opening line, I'm already doing something. I already want to Oh God, you scared me. Action. You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have- Do a cut and then- No, I'm trying to get this all in one take. You're cracking it? No, I'm just gonna crush it with my hand. Okay. That it's gonna be more impactful if I literally just crush it with those the shells in it. Just, just to further prove that I'm not baking this. Crocodile. Mr. Grinch, somehow I need to get this off. I only want to crack like one or two eggs, so I want to be able to get this in one or two takes. Uh, so, so this is coming off after? Mr. Grinch. Now, given the choice, this camera's on. So, because I want some sort of like over the shoulder situation. Both of them off. Oh shit, this would be. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Grinch. And oh, there are a lot of factors. Number one, the egg. Number two, the apron. Number three, the lights. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. This happens in live theater. Like, during Elle Woods, I had to change on stage. I have this one easy. This egg. It's, yeah. I do want it in the background so they know it was already made before I even cooked. <sighs> I thought I lost nails in that one. Oh, that hurts. We just finished shooting. I am in a different shirt because all my stuff was covered in egg. The floor were covered in eggs. The counters were covered in eggs. The walls were covered in eggs. It was starting to smell like rotten egg in there. So we did three takes and then we stopped. I am glad I pre-recorded the vocals for this video particularly. I haven't before. This is my first one where I pre-record. For my birthday, I actually was gifted a mic. Testing it out for the very first time this time because I have so many moving parts going on that we were like, like, okay, let's have the vocals just in case if we need to like pop them in here and there. Obviously, like the fun that I get is from singing live and like performing it, which I did. I have no idea. I have not looked at any of the footage, which I probably should have checked some of it, but this was a shot where it's like, whatever you got, you got. Fingers crossed, we got the shot of like my vision and I was like thanking my boyfriend, like thank you so much for being dragged along into this vision. Like I've been talking about it for weeks now and executing it today was so much fun. Like it was honestly everything I was like envisioning. It's like when you can picture like the outfit and then you put it on and you're like, oh my God, it looks exactly like what I pictured. That's what happened today. I was like, this looks like what I wanted. I'm very, very glad I did it. I had such a good time. Thank you to my boyfriend for supporting me, not only emotionally, but shooting the cameras. He also did a little something something that I, you will have to see at the final result. And thank you to my best friend and my mother for also guiding me with hair and outfits and emotional support as always. And thank you guys so much to you for watching this. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed shooting this. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I will be posting the final video. Where are you, Chris?